The Tech Nerdist channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Welcome folks, I am Technivorous. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the newer features in Kira. Now this isn't specific to the new beta 4.7, this is actually in the full release that's out now, version 4.6. But it's something that they didn't really highlight until they dropped the beta of 4.7, so some people are probably going to think that this is a new feature. Definitely take a look for yourself and check this out because it's pretty interesting and I'm going to show you how to take a model that is not manifold or may produce... Uh, abnormal geometry or an undesirable effect on the outside of your print and to fix that and make that geometry so it is pretty much tangent and everything flows the way it's supposed to. So we are going to jump over and check out Kira right now because I have two models in here and let me jump screens here. There we go. My stuff's in the way. Okay. So I have two models here and this is two very simple models. I just mocked up a cube that I subdivided in Blender and then I purposely took a couple of faces and inverted the normals and the reason is to show you that this is what you're gonna see when you have incorrect geometry so this piece right here should actually be the interior of the model and the same with these two red pieces what happens is the geometry the normals get flipped and it draws them backwards now a lot of times you will get a relatively normal print printing like this, but sometimes you will get little artifacts in this area because the printer is trying to cross paths between the inside and the outside, if that makes sense. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and find the 3D editing software of your choice. And today I'm using Blender and I can tell that from Kira, I am looking at this face here, as well as, let's get it to the same, same angle here. It looks like this piece and a part of this piece. So um, I know when I did this, I flipped these pieces. Uh, so those are the ones that are not manifold and I can just select those pieces and hit mesh and then go to normals and flip. But an easier way to do it to make sure everything comes out right is to hit A to select all and then go to mesh, normals, and then recalculate outside. Uh, and that's how I got rid of these errors that brought me back with this new import. So this is the uh, corrected version of the model. You notice you don't see any red on the top here. There is still some red on the bottom. That is denoting that th those angles are going to require support. That is not an error in the manifold of the actual object itself. So. As I said, this is an edition that was made in Kira 4.6. So if you have 4.6, it's available in your version now. Something to keep an eye on. If you're seeing strange red spots on the tops or sides of your model that you know aren't places for support placement, odds are that that model is not manifold and you're probably going to want to take it into some 3D modeling software and fix that in order to reduce the chance of printing any artifacts in that area. So. Um, that's basically it for this video. Real quick and simple tutorial on how to repair your model if it's showing an error in Kira with the new updates that they have. Uh, we are going to go over the full version of Kira when it releases. Should be pretty interesting when 4.7 drops. There are a couple of things that they made changes to that I really, really like, like the fact that tree support is now a part of the actual support settings it is no longer an experimental so you're gonna hear me talking about that a lot I use tree support probably more than anything and it works really well it's easily removable it doesn't leave much of a mark on the model so um, we will go over all of that and more in the full release video for Kira 4.7 when it is dropped for now if you have more curiosity about the new features available in Kira 4.7 feel free to check out this video right here now this video is my video on the beta and it will go over some of the new features and let you know how I feel about the new settings and things like that. So um, if you're waiting for Kira to drop, go ahead and fill your time by hitting that subscribe button. We will let you know as soon as it comes out because we will be posting a video featuring all of the new features and discussing them in length as we normally do. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. That's going to be it for this video. Like I said, don't forget to leave a like down below if this helped you fix your modeling problems. Leave me a comment if there's anything about Kira that you would like to learn that you maybe don't know how to do because I'm always looking to make more Kira videos. They seem to have a really good audience and do really well. And that's basically it. Technivers out.
Well, that's it guys. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.